everybody welcome back with the plat from platypus is the name today we're gonna take a look at the new cornucopia they've now changed it it's totally different they used to say autumn now it says winter pretty much everything else is the same kind of true kind of not actually so if you come over here and look at the rewards pretty much all this is going to be the same yes i bought it actually this is the only thing i decided i would buy because they increased the value of this in a second i'll get to but Basically, all these rewards are identical from what I can tell. Nothing really stands out as different until you get to level 25. This is where the cornucopia weapon used to be, and that's different now. But if you keep looking, let's just ignore that for now. We'll come back. Um, you know, still the one Castalia, still the whatever, whatever. Like, yeah, it, it's it. then after again, still after level 50, they still put a bunch of uh, FU, you know, just dumb currency. And I know currency is good, but like. I don't know put all just do something more interesting in my opinion um but maybe it makes people feel too stressed i actually didn't even get to level 50 on the last battle pass which should show you tell you something but this is all very similar um and if you come over here can i even look at the i actually bought it already so i don't know if it'll let me look at i bought the stupid one at the teddy bear because i always doing one purchase this month and i figured uh anyway i figured i would just get the expensive one because it came with three poles three individual poles and i'm going for homa still but let's come over here to 25 what's actually different we now get a cornucopia fruit it looks like a ticket to me but don't be fooled this is actually a fruit obtain one by participating in the cornucopia event i don't think is that participating everyone participates but this is this is for pain in the cornucopia event can be used to exchange items in the cornucopia shop so if you come over here first, before we go to the shop, it's at the bottom of the page. Let's take a look at how much I value cornucopia weapons. I currently have... How many? Here we go. I have three... I, sorry, I still have two cornucopia weapons I haven't even used yet. And I don't even know if I got the last one, if I'm being honest. I have a selector here. And so, you know, you can see I don't always use these resources. I just have them because I don't feel like I need them right now. But maybe one day I will want them. Um, but yeah, basically they've added this cornucopia shop, which you can access right here. You click here and you can see you could use one ticket for any of the previous items. Basically, instead of getting a chest where you can open it up and use this, you can now just select it directly what you want from this menu. However, you also get an un, you could get an unnamed legendary gear chest. So now if you come in here and look, you could actually get, I think this is literally every piece of equipment in the game. So you can get literally anything you want. Um, the space time ring, I don't have any of those. I don't have any Luxite Great Shields either. Teleports the character behind an ally and increases attack by 10%. I don't have the Great Shield. I don't have the Space Time Ring. I have a bunch of all the other stuff, I think. I think I have literally everything else. Um, there might be like a bow or something I don't have. It's possible. I actually don't think I have the Ever Burning Blade either. Um, but I've got pretty much all this. Most people probably have a lot of these. So you could use the ticket for this as well. However, I have it on good authority, especially after uh, talking to Hockey. Now, basically, they're going to add, well, if you don't know, uh, the they add signature weapons in a weapon gotcha. So basically, because right now no one uses the weapon gotcha because it's a sack of shit and not worth anything. But they are going to up the ante, basically. They are going to start adding signature weapons, which are characters designed for specific characters that will buff that character to make them way stronger. Is it just through stats? I, I, I don't think so. I don't think it's like just stat go up. I think it gives them new abilities, new like ways to basically overcome their weaknesses or engage with their mechanics uh, in a faster way so alt rawia is going to be i believe the first character that gets this and these are going to be gotten through the gotcha however they are supposed to be getting added to the cornucopia shop so basically you don't you want to buy this if you're if you're paying for the game it could be very much worth it to buy this pass get the ticket and then just sit on the ticket just like i'm sitting on my cornucopia weapons but you don't there's not probably a reason to do that i'm just sitting on them um just get this ticket and hold it and then wait because when they add signature weapons you should be able to get one or two of whatever signature weapons they add in here maybe it's random i don't know if it's a selector or if you just get a random one but if they only had one then and you can exchange it for a random one it's not exactly complicated right so there are some cases to be made that you could be using this here to get like i know people say roaring flint is really good the flying blade armband is good um i have i have like two fully built starry sky heritages um i don't have the berserk incense actually i think i just got my first one today so like you could use this to get a scroll of a gust right like that's good but i still think 
you will eventually get these for free. And the signature weapons, I think you should probably prioritize. I guess it's going to depend on your account. So don't take what I say as like life or death. But basically, yeah, th is this worth it? They actually did increase the value, not as much as I would like, but they basically made it. So I wish they added a second ticket or, you know, a cornucopia weapon and then a second ticket. Because right now it's impossible to build out multiple cornucopia weapons. So if you get the dagger or whatever, and you're like, oh, I wanted the staff. But you now you have to wait six months to get the staff up to five star. But now they're having a different thing. So it, I think that this is kind of lame with the cornucopia weapons also being included in here. I wish they gave us something else. But they did increase the value of this. Um, it just something. This is this is like a big IOU. Pretend that this is an IOU one uh, signature weapon. So go ahead and I, I would say if you were buying it and you said they need to increase the value for you to keep buying it i think they have sufficiently done that um i would prefer if they just didn't add signature weapons and then didn't charge us to get them but whatever it's a gotcha they got to make their money however they can make their money so this is now you're going to get more value out of this than you were before um and if you weren't buying it because you didn't think like it had much value then this might actually pass it there i think there's an argument that this passes the uh the monthly shop thing the uh the blessing of hope the blessing of hope gives you way more pulls but it's possible that the signature weapon will actually be more value overall um you can see i'm not buying these anymore um and i don't think i'm gonna buy the blessing of hope i think i'm just gonna buy this for the signature weapons and i'm gonna stick with the cheaper one from now on um but i don't know i just kind of wanted to buy the expensive one is probably my last purchase in the game currently but yeah, overall, I would say that this is probably worth buying. Unlike, I, I, I recommended not buying the Inanna skin. However, for this one, I do recommend buying it. And again, don't be worried about completing it. Um, if you're playing semi-regularly, you'll get to level 25 incredibly easy. And you will likely get to level 100 with a week or two to spare if you're playing semi-regularly. Um, the first two, I completed all 100 levels with a week or week or two weeks to spare. And it's only 26 days total. The last two, or the last one, I think I only got to level 4850, something like that. And that's because I just wasn't doing any clash. I wasn't doing any fool's journey. Um, I basically logged into dailies and logged off. So, but as long as you're playing a little bit, you should have no problems here. But yeah, that's pretty much all for today, guys. Uh, yeah, go ahead and check this one out. Much love. Per platypus is per platypus. I'll see you on the flip flops. Bye. Otherwise, watch the news go.